Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 2 In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about quickscoping. Is it overpowered or OP? And I know it's a little bit past regular season for Black Ops 2 In Depth, but I've had a lot of requests for more Black Ops 2 In Depth and a lot of requests for analyzing sniper rifles. Also been talking to Cross, uh, formerly Phase Cross, Gamma Cross, now looking for a sniping team Cross about this. That's his gameplay that you're seeing right here. And uh, he seems to think that snipers are perfectly fair and balanced. Other people say they're unbalanced. Uh, some people say that they are actually advantageous in close quarters combat over shotguns and other weapons. So we're going to do some analysis today and take a look at it. My gameplay with a sniper rifle is not as impressive as Cross's. I am not a quickscoper or a sniper at all. I'm a really big rushing run and gunner. So uh, please forgive my less than spectacular gameplay, but today we're going to focus on the numbers. And uh, the question is, is it better to use a quickscoping or sniper rifle or regular guns in normal combat? And to answer this question, we're going to look at a stat that I like to call BTTK or base time to kill which is a time to kill calculation that includes the time that it takes for you to aim down sights and look at the other person because you're not likely going to hit fire and hit all of your bullets so the formula that I'm going to use is ADS time how long it takes to aim down sights plus my shots to kill minus one time uh, multiplied by the time between shots the shots to kill minus one is basically because the first shot is instant there's no wind up there's no loss the second you touch the trigger it shoots so it's basically we're just counting the time between shots uh, and, and multiplying that by the number of segments that there are. So we're using t uh, shots to kill minus one multiplied by how long the gaps are in between those shots. It, it reads a little bit funny. I know it looks weird, but if you stop and think about it, it'll make sense. And uh, the base time to kill for sniper rifles, as long as you kill on your first shot, is just the ADS time. Because it would only be one shot to kill and that minus one, because it's instant, is zero. So the base time to kill for sniper rifles is just their ADS time. Other weapons get a little bit more complicated. To help illustrate what I'm talking about, I made this little infographic. Imagine that two players, one with a sniper rifle and one with an assault rifle, run into each other and they both see each other and at the same time they decide they want to kill each other, they both have to aim down sights and then shoot at each other. So it's kind of like those guys in uh, Metal Gear Solid, you know, they just get these exclamation points and it goes off in your head, I need to aim down sights and shoot. And that's kind of what we're comparing. Which one of these two guys can aim down sights and shoot and kill the other one faster? And we're also going to factor in, you know, missed shots and some other things like that. And I just thought that this would be maybe like a little bit better visualization of what it is that I plan to be talking about today. Moving on, let's look at some base time to kills for some popular assault rifles. The AN-94 and the MTAR both kill in 410 milliseconds. They're very, very close to each other. AN-94 shoots faster and then slower with the MTAR, and it does some complicated stuff, but the math works out the same. The M8A1 will actually kill a little bit faster in very close quarters combat. Uh, it'll, it'll go up to a little bit over 400 milliseconds if you require all four shots to kill. But basically, we're looking at something around 400 milliseconds or 0.4 seconds. Submachine Guns also tell a similar story, but they kill a little bit quicker up close. And this is the minimum time, by the way. The times can get longer. The Scorpion is the fastest of this group. It'll kill in 344 milliseconds or 0 0.33, that's what, 344 seconds. MSMC a little bit slower and MP7 a little bit slower than that. But again, they're all basically under 400 milliseconds. And by the way, this, this is fast. This is not a slow time to kill. Other things we can look at is the base time to kill of the sniper rifles. And this is where the issue gets tricky. The ballistic Lista has a base time to kill of 350 milliseconds if you're only getting if you're getting your one shot kills if you get your quick scope off and don't get any hit markers and the DSR has 400 milliseconds so the, as crazy as this sounds in theory if they see each other at the same time and it's a fair fight and a fair reaction battle the ballista and the DSR will kill I, now the ballista will kill faster than most of the things on that list and the DSR will be very very competitive such to the point where if the sniper gets just a little bit ahead if the other guy reacts just a little bit slower, if maybe the sniper was standing still and the other guy was sprinting and you have a sprint out timer, that the sniper can actually kill you before your gun can kill them. So that thing like I shot them two or three times and they didn't die and he sniped me anyway, that's kind of supposed to work that way, at least mathematically. So in this instance, the snipers may not have an advantage all of the time, but they are very competitive close quarters combat if you can 
get your kills. I mean, if you get that first shot off. However, if you miss your first shot, then things just start going downhill. Now, the sniper rifles have huge, huge, massive penalties for when you have to shoot twice. The base times to kill for two shots, if that first one was a hit marker, if you just totally missed, for the ballista is a little bit over 1600 milliseconds, and the DSR is 1900 milliseconds, which is basically like a second and a half and almost two seconds. It's extremely, extraordinarily slow, and you're going to ask, okay, well, how does that compare to the other assault rifles, the other weapons. Well, uh, I'm just I just grabbed some popular guns here. Their maximum time to kills. The Scorpion is about half a second. MSMC 0.6 seconds. AN94 is also about 0.6 seconds, and the MTAR is a little bit slower than that. You could still to see that these weapons could kill you several times over again before the sniper rifles could ever uh, get that second shot off. So the deal with this is is that snipers are. I'm not going to say that they're OP but they are very competitive in close quarters combat in Black Ops 2 if your first shot hits. If your first shot is accurate, you can theoretically outgun most assault rifle and submachine gun users. Not all of the time, but what I'm saying is that you're on a more or less even playing field if you have the skill to do that. The downside here being if you miss your first shot, you're almost totally helpless and you have to depend on your enemies being really, really bad in order to, to live long enough to get that second shot in. Other things you have working against you with sniper rifles, you have longer sprint out times, you can't reload cancel on some of them. Hip fire is got awful, mobility is a little bit lower. The other weapons have advantages over you in these areas. They can hip fire you. They don't even have to aim down sights. A lot of the submachine guns can hip fire you pretty good, but odds are they'll miss a shot or two and their time to kill will lower. They move faster. They ADS faster. They do a lot of things differently and they can cause you to flinch and miss, but uh, at the end of the day, the question that you wanted answered was, were they OP? And I'm going to say they're not OP, but very, very barely not. I, I totally understand why people are frustrated when a sniper rifle kills you that fast, and I'm just saying that they're made to be competitive at close quarters combat. And if you're good enough, which I'm totally not, but if you are good enough, you can work at close quarters combat and really kill some people. This uh, series is all about numbers and stats and truth. That's kind of all I've been able to find out, and that's my opinion on it. I hope that you found it useful. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I would say that you could recommend the next episode, but I have no idea if there will be another episode of Black Ops 2 In-Depth. Drifter out.